Good morning, Waterstetters. This morning, we need to get the truck all set up and ready. We got a big snowstorm coming either tomorrow or the next day. They're calling for six to 18 inches of snow. <sighs> we gotta get the plow back on the truck. Oh, let's start the truck up, get it defrosted. It's been so nice not having to have the plow on the truck or plow, but we better get ready for it. So we'll get the plow on the truck in a minute, but while we're waiting for our truck to warm up, we can watch Pluto running around. Ah, uh, no, just kidding there. Let's go check on the maple syrup taps and see if we can collect any sap. A lot of the modern steaders are smarter than me and they said, why don't you bring an empty five gallon bucket with you to the taps? That's good thinking. So I catch on pretty quick. We got a five gallon bucket. I'm thinking if we have enough sap and if Olivia's got the day off of school, we'll be boiling sap on Thursday, the day of the snowstorm. Let's just do this. Perfect. One down. Crazy dog. All right, before the bucket gets too heavy, hopefully it gets too heavy, let's go get the sap the furthest point from our truck. It's nice, we're finally starting to lose the snow. I thought the sap was gonna start flowing good. Yesterday was 40, but the sun wasn't out. And this morning it's 18 degrees out. So I'm thinking that's supposed to get 40 again today. I don't know how well the sap's gonna flow. Everything's still frozen nicely. Oh, it'd be nice to have 10 gallons to boil on Thursday. I'm thinking 10 gallons might be wishful thinking. Ah, decent amount. It's frozen. It's a good amount. A little slushy on top. I know if I take that ice off, that doesn't have sugar in it, so it'll be less boiling. We gotta get some cold hands in. There. Survey says, ah, we got a little bit. Stay over here, Pluto. Not quite a gallon, but a good little amount. And the ice ice will dump out. Cool, we're gonna have five gallons before you know it. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Man, mornings on the homestead are beautiful. We might have five gallons before we even leave this side of the house. Frozen good. A little bit in there. I'm gonna go dump that in the bucket. Pretty frozen, but I'll save that. We're having a pretty darn good morning so far this morning. Look at that ice. Less to boil. Nice. Two more to check on this side. So I'm thinking 
we're gonna have five gallons and I better get another bucket before we go check the rest of the taps and put the plow on the truck. Yeah, Pluto. Nope. That, this tree is so funny, it hasn't produced hardly any sap so far. I thought that was gonna be a good producing tree, but nothing yet. Oh, while I'm thinking of it, I wanted to show you something. Our friend and fellow YouTuber, Kevin, over at River Mountain Homestead, made us this nice homemade knife. Let me show it to you. It's got this nice homemade leather sheath. I love the clasp to go on the belt, but it's also, you can pull it, so you don't gotta take your belt on and off to wear it. Man, this thing comes in so handy. It's the perfect size, let me show you. Boom. I bet you this is gonna make a great knife when we're butchering our chickens. Man, it's a nice thin blade. It's not too thick. I don't know how well that's showing. He's got his name, River Mountain Knives, right on it. Look at that beautiful handle. Small imperfections on it, and he said, you know, it's not gonna be perfect. There's some imperfections. You'll see I'm still learning, but you know what? I just think that makes the knife. You just know it's homemade. And I like that. Not, we're not perfect. We're not made to be perfect. So get that out of your head right now. Nobody's perfect. And that's a beautiful thing. I love knowing that I don't have to be perfect. I wasn't made to be perfect. I was made with all my imperfections. And you know what? I love my little quirks, my imperfections. I used to hate them. But nowadays, I've learned to love them. When we build something, there's always a mistake. And that used to drive me nuts. Now I look at that as just another part of the beauty and I just embrace it. Same with the knife. I love all of it. I love the imperfections. I love the details. I love that it's homemade. There's so much more to this than store-bought. So thank you, Kevin. If you guys don't know Kevin, I'm going to put a link here in the description down below for his channel. Go check out Kevin and let him know Al from Lumna Acres said hello and he loves his knife. All right, sorry for that little short intermission. Let's see if this other tree, let's leave the bucket there. It's kind of heavy. Let's see if this other tree's produced any. I think what it is is we're not late enough into the season yet and these trees are always in the shade right now. They're not getting that much sun, so they're not defrosting. That one's got a little bit. This one's nice and frozen again. I'll break it out just so we can get the sap out. All right, cover back on. Nice. When we were making our driveway wider here, I had an excavator over here and I was using it. And I found this flat rock and I played around with it. And I got it positioned just right. Now we need to find a way to get the Lumna Acre logo on this. This thing's been here for almost three years now. We gotta figure out how to get Lumna Acres on there. I thought that'd be kind of a neat rock. A little entrance way to the homestead. Now we not quite five gallons, but it's pretty close. I was gonna put it in the snowbank, but I'm thinking, let's go put it in the cave. We're gonna go in the house and get another bucket anyway. So let's grab another bucket and we'll leave this one in the cave. Probably gonna fog up in here. It's kind of chilly outside. There are the chickies. They're doing well. All right, let's go to the cave. Put it right here. It's in the 40s. Perfect. Good refrigerated temperature. Get out. Hey. Out of the cave, both of you. Out. Means you two. Get out, mister. We don't have any white buckets left, but we have a brand new red one with a lid. Get that in the back of the truck. Alright, let's go put the plow on the truck, and then we'll finish collecting sap. been 
so nice not having the plow on the truck, man. We get excited thinking spring is over and we usually get dumped with one or two good heavy wet snowstorms. Let's go finish collecting some sap. Man, that sun feels good. I bet you those maple trees are loving it too. I stopped. I stopped yesterday and filled back up the propane tank. Put that in the kitchen so it's not rolling around in the truck. And our other pail. Ooh, all right. Still, our big burner for the big pot, our little burner for finishing off the syrup, sap into syrup, propane, and our big pot is cleaned and ready to go. Alrighty. I'm thinking this next tree we're going to check should have the most. This has been our biggest producer, and I was thinking the other day that this tree gets the most full sun. If you look, right now it's in sun already, and it'll have sun on it all day long. So I think this is why this one's our biggest producer. Let's see. Nope. It wasn't. It's got sap in it. But it's not the biggest producer. All right. I tell you what, you just never know. That's funny. Let's take the ice out. save us time in the long run. Okay, we have three more trees to check. Well, we got all day today for that sap to run. Hopefully it's gonna be a good sunny day. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be mid 30, so there'll be some luck, renegade rooster. So tomorrow we'll have a little bit of sap running, so we might have 10, 15 gallons by Thursday if we get the day off from school. That'll be fun. My fingers are getting cold. Ooh. About the same amount as that last one. I give it a good tap on the bottom, it puts a hole. There we go, that's a better tap. It'll put a hole in it, but it'll leave the ice in the bottom. Ready? Boom. <laughs> that's a good little trick. I just don't know what trees are gonna be producing now. But hey, let's go check the last two. So these two trees over here really haven't produced yet. So we'll find out how they're doing now. Survey says, little bit. I want the 
the last one a little less. I don't know if you can see in there that good. I'm pretty sure that's the most it's produced so far. Okay, last one. Let's go check it out. This last one's a little trek into the woods. It's the most difficult one to get to. And we're not using the Kubota this morning. Nothing. Because I didn't feel like having to start it up, let it warm up, and do it. We gotta go to work, so I didn't want to take the time to go through all that. So we're just using the buckets today. But perfect. Got a little over five gallons. We got probably six or seven gallons. It's a good start. I think I'd be happy if we can get that again by Thursday. This is gonna be fun and delicious. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us today. It was fun. Looking forward to making some more maple syrup. I'm not looking forward so much to getting six to 18 inches of snow. It's probably gonna be heavy, wet stuff too. It's that time of the year. We deal with it every year. You just don't look forward to it though. You know it's coming, but I don't look forward to it, but that's okay. We'll get through it. We'll get to boil some more sap down to syrup. It's gonna be delicious and sticky. Now's a great opportunity. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go on down below, subscribe and turn on notifications while you're there. Or go on over to our website, lumnaacres.com. There's a link in the description down below. Sign up for our newsletter. And remember, we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.